Hi Capricorn! Welcome to your June 15th through the 31st tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I'm going to be doing your tarot reading today. Um, so just before we get started, I wanted to let you know that I do offer private readings. The link is in the description box below. And I have two different types of readings. I have the shop now feature. So if you click on shop now, it's going to show you everything that I record and I upload to YouTube unlisted. So the only people that can watch it are the ones that get the direct link. So I would only send you the buyer the direct link. So you'd be the only one who would be able to watch it. Um, and I get those out within 48 hours right now um, that might change if it does I will email you and let you know they are cheaper it is cheaper to do it that way I have multiple different packages available and then if you click on book now that is a feature where we can book a live Skype call where we can talk one-on-one -on -one and we would have to with the book now you choose a time that I have available and then we do a live Skype call and those are more expensive because we have to be there and organize together at the right time um, so I just want to let you know that those are available and let's get started on your reading today uh, I'm going to use the energy oracle so what is the central theme of Capricorn's reading today what is the central theme of Capricorn's reading I have this here for for the um, the light it's too bright it's like a diffuser so the central theme is a broken heart so it looks like Capricorns have a broken heart and I'm gonna be doing a spread it's like a Romney spread but it's a little bit different and I use two decks put together it gives me a better a better reading and um, so every card has it can come out twice um, upright or reversed and I just feel like it gives a, a more detailed reading so what is the state of mind of Capricorn currently June 15th through the 31st what is give me three cards for the state of mind for Capricorn June 15th through the 31st okay so the first we have the ace of wands so the ace of wands is potential action creativity inspiration being motivated beginning physical action so this could be beginning a new exercise routine uh, a new lease on life explosive potential you feel inspired and full of energy there's potential growth travel and energy here and this is just fire energy. Uh, it can represent Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or it's just that ambitious energy that's it's, it's beginning something new. So what else is going on in Capricorn's state of mind? Okay, so I have two cards here, both in the upright, and both are major life events. Um, <clears throat> and both are air energy, which go really well with fire energy. Um, so there's not any conflict here so far in your state of mind. Uh, the first we have is the lovers. This is Gemini energy, and this is self-love. This is the magic of falling in love. This is sexual development, sexual attraction, any relationship. Um, learning how to decide things, making decisions, examining both sides, quality of communication, open and honest. Um, it's safe to move forward and someone's interested in you. So in your state of mind, there's a new potential action and there's the magic of falling in love. And then we have justice, which is Libra. This is another major life event. You, you are exactly where you deserve to be. This is the laws of karma. Uh, it's justice, it's balanced, it's legal matters. Could be marriage. There's a home establishment here. Uh, pure motives and intentions. So there's nothing shady going on. Everything's pure. Uh, there's hard work paying off. 
There's contracts, documents, uh, total honesty. And Libra's eye balance, it's very diplomatic energy. It's very peaceful. It's romantic. It's uh, balanced. It's partner oriented. It's um, appreciating arts, liking finer things, uh, seeing both sides, being very sensitive to beauty. It's elegance. So, so far it looks really good. There's two major life events side by side. Uh, both can indicate a marriage or the potential. <clears throat> With the Ace of Wands beginning it, so there, that's all about potential and things in the clouds. So there's a potential of marriage here or a potential of a long-term relationship, a very uh, conventional relationship. But with justice here, I would say more of a marriage because it has to do with legal matters and that's where your mindset is. That's where your mindset is. All right, so what's going to help Capricorn with self-improvement, spiritual development, or health? Okay, so I have two cards, and I'll just pick off the top for the third. Okay, so the first card we have is the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is... Searching for inner happiness, leaving in an emotionally unfulfilling relationship, walking away, abandoning things, taking a break. Uh, this is the card of Pisces, and this is a card of change. Eight is all about change, and it's right next to Justice, which is a uh, air sign. Air is the winds of change, and then the Eight of Cups. Even though it's water energy, which is very sentimental, very stuck in the past, very emotional energy, um, it's still eights are the winds of change as well. Eights are change, movement. So the numerology is all about change and movement. Uh, the, the two elements, they are neutral. They don't really conflict with each other. So there's not a lot of conflict here. Um, it's just starting a new journey, leaving things behind. And then we have the Hermit reversed. So the Hermit is Virgo energy. And Virgo is Earth energy. And you are also an Earth sign Capricorn. So we have Virgo, which is Earth, and then you are a Capricorn. So this is talking about you, I would say. Or it's talking about Virgo, if that fits the bill. Um, or just somebody with that energy. And the Hermit reversed. It's another major life event. Um, the Hermit reversed is a time to socialize. You've done enough reflection, so it's the time to get out and socialize. You've learned your lessons. Um, you're deliberately avoiding going within uh, to find things out, so you need to go within. You need to um, self-reflect. You're feeling powerless. There's terrible loneliness here. You're avoiding problems, uh, being left out in the cold by friends and family, or being unsociable. So that's where you're heading. Um, Virgo is I analyze. So the Virgo can be very worrisome. And these are the negative traits of Virgo because the Hermit's reverse. So whenever it's reverse, we talk about the negative traits. There's positive and negative traits of every sign. So Virgo negatively, they analyze a lot. They're very critical. They're picky. They're choosy. They worry a lot. Um, they're standoffish, they're irritable, they're um, nitpicky, oversensitive, fault-finding, uh, reserved, discriminating. And then we have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands in the upright is a natural-born leader. He's an entrepreneur. He's powerful, dynamic, dependable, admirable, energetic. He takes control of his life. He thinks big. He comes up with new ideas. He has made mistakes, but he if he could go back and change it, he wouldn't change a thing because he finds that risks are what make life interesting. If you did everything without taking risks, um, then life would be boring. 
So even though he made mistakes, he doesn't regret anything. He has no regrets. And this is Sagittarius energy. It's very outgoing, optimistic, takes risks, likes to gamble, um, loves to travel. And that's neutral with the Hermit. What is Capricorn's family and home life like? What is Capricorn's family and home life like? Cap three cards for Capricorn's family and home life. Three cards for Capricorn's family and home life. Okay. So the first thing I see is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is all about conquest. Um, the Knight of Wands is sudden arrivals, great new beginnings. Uh, but there's no follow through here. There's unfinished projects. There's um, being a risk taker, being impulsive, being a flirt. Uh, there could be emotional outbursts, being mouthy, um, but also being brave and bold and daring, passionate, fun, energetic. There's a time to act, but think first. Um, take risks and develop your potential, but always think about it. So you should take risks, but calculated risks. And it's a very fast coming action, and there's a lot of new growth here. So in terms of your family and home, there's a lot of new growth, and it comes in fast. And it's very active, very active home life. What else is going on in Capricorn's family and home? Two more cards for Capricorn's family and home. And that's fire energy. So that's Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, specifically a Leo. Okay, two more cards. Right. Okay. Ooh. It's out of the three of pentacles reversed. Um, this is your energy. So the three of pentacles reversed is there's a lack of teamwork here. And there's a disregard for skills. This is specifically Capricorn energy. So in terms of your home, there's a lack of teamwork and a disregard for skills. What else is going on in Capricorn's home life? Okay, so I have the moon. This is Cancer energy. I always saw it as Pisces, but it's it's Pisces or Cancer. It's still that water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it's mostly Cancer because Cancer is ruled by the moon. And uh, it's another major life event. It is secrets, going deep into your subconscious and sorting things out for yourself, um, facing your fears, moving forwards. Answers lie within, paying attention to your dreams, sleeping on things. Um, not everything is as it seems. There could be some mental problems. There's trouble behind the scenes. There's lies. There's deceit. There's plotting. There's scheming. And there's mood swings. Uh, cancer is all about I feel. And cancers are very moody, emotional. Uh, sentimental they're very nurturing they're domestic they're tied to the past uh, there's memories nostalgia they're caretakers they're nurturing um, they're family oriented they're security focused but they have a hard shell and sometimes it can be very manipulative so be aware of that what is going on in Capricorn's romantic and social life? Three cards for Capricorn's romantic and social life. So the first thing we get you, we get the devil. And the devil is Capricorn. It's toxic. It's temptation. It's addictions. There's abuse here. There's a disregard for consequences. There's materialism. There's control. There's deception, false promises, there's lies, there's anger, there's jealousy, there's sexual perversions, there could be some prostitution or even drugs, there's feeling blocked or trapped, pessimistic, um, 
there's lack of control, there's externalizing your power, there's giving your power away to somebody else, there's blaming others and not taking responsibility for things yourself, there's guilt, there's obsession, and there's lust. So that's what's going on in your romantic and social life right now. Uh, what else is going on in Capricorn's romantic and social life? Right, it gave me three cards. The first is the Two of Wands. This is fire energy. And so far I'm not seeing any like major conflicts, but I am I actually I, I took a look and there is conflict here. There's definitely conflict right here. Um, so the first thing we have is the Two of Wands, which is the card of Aries. This is fire energy. This is I am me. Um, it, it's very, uh, very egotistical energy, very demanding energy. This is about decisions, um, deciding a course of action. Should I stay? Should I go? Um, there's a need for excitement here. Something's holding you back. There's being bored and discontent. which is neutral with the devil. But right here, this is where the conflict is, and this is the card of Pisces. So there's conflict over a Pisces. And uh, this is another major life event. This is the hanged man. Um, so the hanged man is sacrifice, putting your life on hold. No matter what we do, it doesn't work out. There's surrender to a situation, letting things go. There's meditation. They're seeing things in a different light. There's feeling victimized or punished. Um, there's accepting responsibility. There's gaining insight from your higher self. Um, doing good deeds, volunteering, going within. Do not struggle. Uh, there's withdrawing and there's developing yourself. There could also be some drug addiction here. And then finally, we have the Three of Wands. So with fire and water water puts out fire and fire boils water they don't mix they don't mix fire is too selfish <clears throat> fire energy is too aggressive for water energy fire energy has a volcano temper and it just explodes out of nowhere fire energy is very um they get over things easily, whereas water energy doesn't get over things easily. They hold on to things. They are emotional. They're too sensitive. They get hurt by fire. They're very compassionate. They're very selfless. Um, so they don't, it, the two energies don't, don't mix. Um, so we have the three of wands in reverse. And this is a lack of foresight. There's delays, obstacles to a long-term path. Again, we have Aries energy. So we have new growth and um, ambitions and energy coming in. And then we have a lack of teamwork. And then we have secrets, lies, deception, um, abuse. With the moon and the devil together, those are two major life events side by side and both say the, basically the same thing. There's secrets, lies, deception. And then there's a choice. There's a crossroads. And there's a change of perspective. But there's a fear. There's a fear of the unknown. There's, there's a lack of planning here. And there's stagnation. All right, so what's going on with Capricorn's money? What's going on with Capricorn's money, June 15th through the 31st of 2018? What's going on with Capricorn's money, June 15th through the 31st of 2018. Give me three cards for Capricorn's money, please. Three cards for Capricorn's money. 
Okay, so the first card is the Knight of Pentacles. So this is good. Pentacles, we, with money, we want pentacle cards. So the Knight of Pentacles, but he's in the reverse. So that's not good. Um, so there's taking a break from work. There's kind of being a dishonest business person. There's financial insecurity. There's um, being unemployed here, dropping out, uh, quitting a job, bad investments, changing career direction, being kind of like a couch potato. Um, there's a lack of vision whenever the Knight of Pentacles reverses. What else is going on with Capricorn's money? What else is going on with Capricorn's money? Okay, so I have two cards, which finishes this up. Okay, so there's the Two of Cups in reverse. So this is the relationship card. Uh, this is water energy. This is specifically a Cancer. So we have Cancer twice here. And we have Pisces. We have Pisces and Cancer real strong so far here. Um, so the Two of Cups in the reverse is a breakup. There's an imbalance. There's a lack of harmony. So this could be quitting a job, breaking up with a job especially with the Knight of Pentacles. And then we have the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is in the reverse. So how this works is there's a major arcana and there's a minor arcana. The major arcana are major day-to-day -day life events, or major life events, and the minor arcana are day-to-day -day life events. So the High Priestess is a major arcana card. This is the second of the major arcana cards this is number two so it starts with the full which is zero that's the inception of the new soul the new soul decides hey i want to go and do the journey of the major arcana so the magician the high priestess are the sexual intercourse that brings the high priestess into a thought and then the empress and the emperor half are the grounded ones that have to bring the high who brings the soul onto the physical realm but this is the sex the female part of the sexual intercourse this is the subconscious mind this is the higher self this is deep feelings this is pisces this is understanding intuition this is withdrawal this is time alone this is following your own path there's a need to go deeper for answers. Not everything is obvious at first glance. There's a formation of plans here. There's not the time for action. Retreating and reflecting. So we do have Pisces here. We have Cancer, Pisces. So we're getting more of that water, emotional energy here. So I'm seeing there could be a job that you're leaving. And you're taking time to go within, which is what you need to be doing. All right, work, career, and life purpose. What's going on with Capricorn's work, career, and life purpose? Three cards for, okay, so we have Cancer Energy again. We have the Chariot Reverse. Be, be careful with cars. This can represent a car accident when it comes in the reverse. There's a loss of control or car problems. There's a loss of control. There's lack of self-discipline here. There's a loss of direction in terms of your work and career. There could be emotional outbursts, giving up, letting go, um, wearing a mask to hide your true emotions. There's overreactions. There could be workplace abuse because it's landing right underneath of cat, the devil. So the there could have been abuse in your workplace. All right, two more cards. All right, so I have the Queen of Pentacles. So things get better. Things definitely. The Queen of Pentacles, I mean, this is an amazing card to get in terms of work. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is prosperity and success, wealth, luxury, prestige, material security, ambition, goals, nurturing. Success is yours if you work for it. And this is your energy. This is Capricorn. So it gets better. One more card for Capricorn work, career, and life purpose. All right. So, um, yeah. 
see you ending a job. I have the tower reversed. There's an advanced warning of change. So it's not going to be as traumatic as if it came in the upright. If it came in the upright, it's boom, it's changing, and you you weren't warned. It's like, what the hell just happened? It's very traumatic. But you're getting an advanced warning here. Um, get out of the way. Avoid disaster. Uh, rebuilding your life. This is rebuilding your life. So I absolutely see a job ending. But it, it turns out in your favor with the Queen of Pentacles here. All right, what's the outcome for Capricorn? What's the outcome for Capricorn? Okay, cool. I have three exactly. Perfect. That's what I need. All right, so I have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. And it started with the Ace of Wands, and now it's ending with the Ace of Wands. But this time it's in the reverse. So there's a lack of motivation here, and you need to get some exercise. All right, and then we have the Four of Cups in the reverse. Do we get the Four of Cups? No, it's the Eight of Cups. Well, four is half of eight. So... There's a foundation for growth here. That's what that's, that means. Um, the Four of Cups in the reverse is a missed opportunity. So don't miss your opportunities. Look at what you have, not what you don't have. And then we have it, we end on a major life event. And there's 21, 22 major arcana cards. It ends with 21. This is 20 because it starts with zero. This is 20, which is judgment, which is right before the ending. Um, so this is the final outcome. You're unable to hide things, accounting for actions, feeling judged. Um, but it's all about karma. The, there's a finality here. There's life-changing choices that you have to make. Right. Are there any other messages? For Capricorn, any other messages for Capricorn? Messages for Capricorn. So victory is yours. Victory is yours. If you open the door to spirit and you pay attention to your intuition, and that will relieve all of your anxiety. Well, Capricorn, that was your reading for June 15th through the 31st of 2018. I hope you enjoyed that. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I do do bi-monthly tarot readings. And if you want to comment, I love feedback. So please do that. I encourage you to. Also, my website is up and I do offer private readings. So if you want to check that out, I would love if you would go to my website. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day.